Okay, and we're all set. Attempt number two at a suicide. This sale called Keep Saving My Body. <laughs> we. Oh. Nope. Nowhere near. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, jeez. You have to tilt it very little. I won't push you this time. Oh, you're too kind. Yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to open the cell block. <laughs> I was focusing too much on aiming forwards. It wouldn't move forward. This is not going to end well. I'm not good at this, apparently. Alright. <laughs> it took me three tries, including including the one where she pushed me. No. So close. Oh, it counts! Oh, it counts it? God damn it! <laughs> I think after the third time, it just goes, no, 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 no. We'll make this easier on you. It probably does. Your face is so weird. I thought his face was the most realistic so far. In comparison to a lot of the others. Yeah, in comparison. He still looks weird when he smiles, though. Sure. The weather being this nice at all. The weather is this nice all the time. Then you fly above the clouds. How does it get bad? Yeah, actually, how does it rain? No, the question is, where does all the water come from that constantly spills off the mouth? That's the thing. That is a much better question. <laughs> Because I don't see an internal revenue of water. Do they no. just have like a decanter of endless water? Yes, they do. Like a, a very, You've got very like twelve large. of them. <laughs> got like twelve of them all. We've got like little mini islands floating up above. So presumably, the twelve decanters of endless water are all up there, just constantly spewing and filling it, and then pouring down. There's something I've been mean, you know, and somebody just dropped the nuke. You realize, if you were actually trying to have a conversation up here, it'd be, What? Yeah. Huh? I can't. What? Watch it. Watch it. You know, I was going to do a silly imitation of that sound, but I can't. I can't get that. <laughs> yes, that's it right there. You yep. got it. You got it. Open your sail cloth, quick! No! No! You... What? No! What? That's actually kind of cool that it's consistent, though. Then again, maybe regardless of what you make your name, it's Always Mata. says Mata. Probably. You should have named yourself Mata. <laughs> but I took her so cloth. Why is she wearing it again? You should be more concerned about the fact that you don't have the sail cloth anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Have you ever seen Tremors? No. Okay. What is it? It's, uh, there's a couple movies. Tremors 1, 2, and 3. It's about these giant sand, uh, worm creatures that lived underground and they would eat people. Huh. Interesting. It was actually really entertaining. It's like a B movie or was it like. Um, kind of. It was a really good quality movie. The second one and the third one, you just kind of, they were fucking with you. 
no way to describe it. It's a sequel. Sequel 2. It starts off with them being in the ground, and then they grow legs, and then they grow what? wings. What? Yep. What? Get... No. Yeah. It was hilarious. They grow legs and then wings? Yep. No. As in the one that the ones that grow wings, they like fart and like ignite their farts in order to fly at you. It what? Was, it was so incredibly entertaining. Okay, now I need to watch this. Yep. And just make fun of it the entire yep. time. Yep. It's all very strange and conveniently timed, but I doubt there's any connection. It's okay. Just don't look him in the eyes! Don't look him in the eyes! Disrespect. Off with your head. <laughs> immediately. Mm -hmm. You are not a very concerned father. He has an entire shogun village to take care of. She'll be fine, I can just tell. But it... Really? He's on drugs, actually. Everything will be fine. I can tell. Too much sake? Yeah. Floating Blue Woman. But I, forget, I forget whether she gives you a name or not. That's you! Come back here! This guy has no endurance whatsoever. That a breath of 10 seconds of running. Jesus. Oh! Yep, I told you. I love this, ready? Look, look, look! It's got a flashlight. <laughs> How awesome is that? I can't. Orange has a headgear and flashlights. Cause you're not cool enough. Apparently. The thing is, I knew you were gonna do that when you started heading that way. I was like, you're just gonna go, duh, duh, duh. but I wanted to see it happen. Yep. Because I knew you would enjoy the uh, the prayer with the lamp on the side as well. That freaking kitty, adorable kitty. Oh, raccoon tail. Oh. You can't actually kill them. Them? There's more than one? Uh, yeah, as you continue the game. Anytime that you run around um, Skylock at night, you have the chance of running into them. And you can't kill them. And then you immediately jump off the edge. <laughs> Be gone! Blood sucking fiend!
You know, I still am not sure what those blobby things actually do. Because as many times as they've, like, latched onto my feet, I've never been actually hurt by them. Eat up your lines. So, do they start doing damage to you after they get rid of your fatigue? If you're dumb enough to look at them. I, I don't know how to move the Wiimote. How do I move Wiimote? It's I don't to understand. It's stationary at all times. Yeah, that's how it works. Oh man, no, what was that game? I'm just picturing you having an absolute spaz attack with the PS3 controller. What game was it where m multiple times during the fight you were like. <laughs> just like having a complete seizure. Wasn't that dragon one? Was it, Lair? Yeah. I yes, because so. you had to fly into the, um... Again, it was like a floating, giant floating rock, or sort of. No, it was in a fortress. It was a, a floating fortress. Yeah, it was something like and that. You had to, it was something to that effect. And you had to fly in there and, like, shake... Shake, like, the bell? Or shake the... Shake the chains? Or something like that. Just, like, basically have a seizure with the PS2 controller. <laughs> Right, it works. Pretty much. The sword is called Feed. Because then you will be charged a fee to use the sword. <laughs> is that what you said? The sword is called Feed? Yep, that's fine. Oh, I completely forgot. Huh. You know, she talks a lot more than any of the other ones. Yep. I like the fishnet stocking she's got as well. And she has jellyfish arms, she does. Yeah. I have yet to see her hands. She just has jellyfish arms. He looks so surprised. Well, I'm quite sure that's one of the only three expressions you can show. Shocked, amused, and slightly constipated. Yeah, those are three. <laughs> well, the one thing I do have to say is they do look like they're chewing, but they're really rude because all of these people chew with their mouth open. Yep, true. Well, they're chewing as they're talking, so. <laughs> That was really awkward. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What I feel like when I do it. What I actually look like. <laughs> you go from zero to a hundred with your weapon. Sword number one, practice sword. Sword number two, God sword. <laughs> And as far as I'm aware, you don't actually change swords ever again in this game. How did the old man get over here? Like, we had to do all that running Shogun. around. Shogun! <laughs> oh, don't look at the end! Don't look at the end! He beat the shit out of everyone along the way. Just go with it. Actually, they all bow to him when he walks fast. Oh, I see. Let's He's earned the respect. They only yeah. attacked you because you didn't have the, uh... It's the, it's the mantle he's wearing, actually. I thought it was his eyebrow. It's unibrow of it, power. It may also be the unibrow of power. <laughs> he doesn't actually use a weapon anymore, he simply charges you with his unibrow. <laughs> he just attacks you with the unibrow. Yes. I like to note how you're holding the sword right now. You're slightly cupping your other hand like it's a precious baby. Like a three year old would hold the toy sword. Yeah. All right. So one important detail. Yes. Um, he confirms right now that she is not just in your head. Yes. 
Yeah. That is an important detail. Because up until now, he had no way to prove otherwise. Oh, mighty jellyfish ones. <laughs> jellyfish woman. She still has not given a name, so she so she shall be the jellyfish. The jellyfish. That sentence sounded jerky. For a moment there, I thought we were going to be able to uh, put a Scott sneeze out on YouTube. No, <laughs> no snot skis. Snot skis. <laughs> no snot skis. Scott sneezes for them. And if we ever do record any of those, it should be in its true and authentic form during the middle of a test in complete silence. Yes! <laughs> the most awkward time to make any noise whatsoever. They really need to, like, put a loud fan on or something. Yeah. Doing that, because I, I need to move, and I always get the squeaky desk. I always end up sitting in the squeaky desk every single test. Every time. See? She has no hands. hands! She has no hands! She's a jellyfish! <laughs> the other question is, where was she keeping that? In Hammerspace. Her, yeah. <laughs> the answer is Hammerspace. For all of you who are listening, if you don't know what Hammerspace is, Google it. Should be on TV Tropes, actually. TV Tropes? Do you know what TV Tropes is? Oh my god, TV Tropes is hilarious. It's, a, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a series of TV and movie and book tropes. Hmm. It's great, and they give them silly names. Before you do that, I'm going to cut the video, and we're going to do another one. Hooray!